In an effort to reduce density in the shop as well as the amount of material changing hands, we're offering digital submissions for our fabrication lab at the fabrication workshop this semester. So if you go to the fabrication workshop main page on the architecture and planning website and we go to the submit section, we can click on submit laser cut. There's also sections there for submitting a CNC and submitting a 3D print. The process is going to be largely the same from what we're doing here to those other two sections. The main difference is going to be the types of materials that are offered as well as the type of file submission that you're going to be making. So if we go ahead and plug in here our first name, last name, UB email, and then phone number is optional, so you can plug that in. We will only use that if there's an error with your file that we need to contact you quickly about. Um, it helps us to answer questions in a really efficient way if something um, just seems a little bit off in the file that we need a little bit more clarification on, or if you forgot to set any settings up. The UBID number, again, this is not going to be your eight digit UB person number, so if you just add eight digits here, it's not going to work. So if we go ahead and add 16 digits, it will then go through. We're going to click here for materials for the order. So I will be purchasing materials or I will be dropping off materials. If you click this, it's going to ask for a brief description of the materials. Um, and you can go to the main fabrication workshop page to see the protocol for dropping off your own materials. If you need to purchase any materials for the order, you can do it in the same form as you submit your actual laser cut. So we're gonna go in here and we're just going to choose two pieces of eighth inch plywood. And then the bottom of this submission form is meant to replace those paper forms that we've been using in previous semesters. So the number of jobs, you can do up to 10 jobs within one file. Job number one file name, we're gonna call this test one. It's going to ask the material for job one, we're going to do plywood. And then material size for job one is going to be 17 and three quarter by 30. So these are just stock sizes for the eighth inch plywood. And then we're going to do another file down here and the same thing there. So the purpose of having these two lines is that if you're doing one file that's eighth inch plywood and one that's chipboard, um, you can call out the file name for that specific piece of material so that once they go into a folder on the UV box, um, we are able to tell which file goes with which piece of material. So once you're done with this, you can click submit. You'll receive a confirmation email and then a prompt to upload your files. It's going to go to a UB box page, so SAP fabrication and laser jobs. Again, you guys do not like the share drive. You do not have access to actually make a folder in here or delete a folder. So make sure that you make a file on your desktop with your first name, last name, and then drag that folder with all of your files into the laser jobs folder. Once that's complete, you can check that your files are in your folder and your submission is complete. We will send you an email as soon as your file is done um, and you'll, it'll be available for pickup outside of Parker Hall room two, that's the shop.